<laughs> Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We've got a treat for you, all right? We do. You know that body that you have right now, my yeah. brother? So he's been working on a similar body with this person. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, well, James, thank you so much. Yes, I am in Johannesburg for a few weeks, and it's so nice to catch up in person with my trainer. I feel like I just need to disclose that it is freezing cold in Johannesburg. Hence, I'm wearing my long sleeves. But train with <laughs> Stephanie, aka TWS. You're so used to the cold. This is nothing for you. No, right? it's nothing. As soon as you start training, it'll get warm. Then you warm up. So for a warm up, we're gonna get into a little bit of a workout. What I love about her programs is you can do it in gym but mostly you can do it at home you don't need any equipment I love that I was able to do my own transformation from the comfort of my own lounge and we are here in your little setup and you're about to take us through a lower body workout yes okay so we're gonna start off let's get warm we're gonna start off we're gonna do chair step up so that's why I have a chair I'm gonna use the bench a normal bench so what we're gonna do is you're gonna put one of your legs on the chair make sure the chair is stable and then we're just gonna to bring the other leg up and you're gonna go up up and you're just gonna keep that movement going you'll feel it burning in your quad and in, in your, your glutes, glutes yes yeah. so we can go for five four three two one good job and then when you once you're done with that you can go on to the other leg okay let's just do two of that you ready yes and we want to work up both sides one two three one more and last one. Well done. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we're going to move on to a burpee. Okay, so a lot of people get such a big fright when they hear a burpee. So I'm going to take you through two phases of a burpee. Okay. Okay. So if you're a beginner and you're struggling a little bit, this is one for you. Okay. So you're going to start down on your hands and on your feet. Make sure your hands are directly under your shoulder. You're going to be bringing your right leg forward, left leg forward, and stand up. So this is a modified burpee. When I started off with Stephanie's low impact program, this is what the burpee looked like. So you go down, step out, step right in. leg, and just get back up. Perfect. So let's do two of those. Hands yeah. down, right leg, left leg, and up. Let's do another one, feet back. Right leg, left leg, and up. Okay. okay, so if you want to increase your heart rate, like myself, <laughs> we're going to do a walk up jump burpee. Okay, so same story, we're going to be down on our hands, right leg forward, left leg forward, and let's jump. jump. That's it. Let's go for another one. And let's go and jump. And then one more, back, and let's jump. And then our full burpee. Ha! I'm going to show you the full burpee. If you're ready for that, I'm ready. Okay, so we're going to be starting. We're going to go down, tuck out the legs, tuck in the legs, and jump. Okay, so what is important with this one, Zoe, when you're going down, you must make sure your back doesn't hyperextend. This will put pressure on your lower back. So when you're going down, you keep your legs stable, your back is straight, tuck your legs, and jump up. And of course, keep your core engaged. Are we going to go do? Yes. Let's do let's about do two, three. Let's do three. Okay. Three is a good amount. Three, <laughs> two, one. Let's go. And up. That's it. Good. And up. Let's go Ooh. for one more. Be careful <laughs> there that we go. <laughs> That's oh, the for you. Okay, well, I love that your programs are for beginners. It is for intermediates as well as those that are advanced. Now, what I love about your challenges is about three times a year, Stephanie brings out her TWS challenge. There's a summer one, there's a winter one, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Can you tell us a little bit more about what goes into your challenges? Yeah, so I think basically people think it's easy. You just put together a few exercises and then you go. But there's a lot of preparation. So, let me just catch my breath. <laughs> In through the nose, out through the mouth, like That's I always tell my clients. Um, yeah, so a lot of preparation goes into the challenges. Only after a year, uh, my final one will be in October. And that is where all the girls are in one group. We all motivate each other, we all start the same day. 
And we all finish the same. And it's amazing. So you do these different challenges with a group of ladies that become your support system. And that is what's amazing, amazing because that's the thing about a workout is you want to have support. Now we've caught our breaths back. I feel yeah. like the forward backward lunges is something we should do. Yeah. And I feel like that's also something we just need to tell people that if you are someone that's prone to losing your balance, you can simply hold onto a chair or a wall or like we're going to do now and be workout buddies. <laughs> yeah. So basically Zoe knows my exercises, yeah. but we're going to show you guys. So this one really works. The first three to four is not really burning, but we'll show you really quick. So you can put your hand on somebody. We're going to go forward first. Let's do the, you do left leg, I do right. There and we go. go. And forward and back. And forward, try to not touch in the middle. Keep that leg in the air. That's it. Make sure your knee doesn't go over your toe. Well done, Zoe. Good job. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Well, I hope this little workout has inspired you. Make sure yes. to follow Stephanie on at TWS uh, on, and on Instagram. And of course, her trainwithstephanie.co.za. That's where you can get her amazing workout programs. And you can email her at info at trainwithstephanie.com. Well, there we go. T, I'm going to send it back to you because we're going to now work out the other leg. It's very important for us to be balanced and also to be, you know, nice and warm because we will be back a little bit later with a second workout and this time focusing on a bit of abs and the upper body. There we go. All done. Good. It's my feel good work this show. Right, glute, quad, glute, quad, glute, quad. Stephanie is ready to train our Zoe once again. This has been Zoe's, I think, spirit animal for her body transformation. You can join in. Come on, Zoe. Come on, Zoe. This is for you, Zoe. Oh, thank you, gentlemen. Well, I have to say I'm very excited. I'm live in Johannesburg with the lady that has really inspired and pushed me to to do my own fitness journey. Stephanie Stander, she's here. She's the brains behind the Train With Stephanie brand, which has become a movement. Earlier, we went through a lower body workout, and today we're going to focus on the arms. I'm someone that loves to have the Michelle Obama arms, you know, <laughs> something that's nice and toned. When it comes to your clients, is there anything in particular that they always complain Complain about when it comes to how their arms look. look. <laughs> I think most of the ladies, Zoe, is always about the hanging yes. down here, and I think we all have that. <laughs> Doesn't matter how skinny or lean you are, we all have that. I mean, your muscle and your skin needs to go somewhere. <laughs> so we all have that. So we will be working on that today, and we will working a little bit on the shoulders. Okay, well, so we're going to focus going. on that. So I'm going to be using the dumbbells. I'm keeping it nice and light, two kgs each, and you're using the water bottles because that's something you always encourage your clients to do is if you don't have weights, you can use water bottles or even tin cans yes. for food. So you can use dog food, cat food, if you don't have dumbbells, that is why I'm using this and Zoe is doing the dumbbells. Okay. So our first one that we're going to do is around the world. It's exercises that I give my own names for. Okay. So we're going to start with our weights, palms facing forward, and we're going to make circles all the way up. So we're going to go around and touching all the way at the top and coming down and all the way to the top. Great. This is a favorite of mine. It's something where you can feel the shoulders working. It's so important to have your core engaged. Yeah. And it's an all-round workout for the upper body. Because it goes for the shoulders and you work your back at the same time. Let's go for two more, Zoe. Well done. And last one. Good job. Okay, then our next one, what we're going to do is the Arnold press. Okay, so we're going to bring our arms up. We're going to have our palms facing our face. And we're going to simply open the arms and press to the sky. Same down. Bring it back in. Perfect. And up. And make sure when you're coming down, you don't drop your elbows too low. And all the way up. That's it. Beautiful. And back in. So posture for me is very important. When people purchase your programs online, you have demonstration videos for them. Yes. So I have individual exercise demonstration videos just to demonstrate exactly how every exercise goes. Okay. okay. So let's move on to the third one. And we're going to work on this little flabby that everybody Woo. always comes We want to get rid of it. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we're going to turn to the side. We're going to have our weights or our water bottles in our hands and we're simply going to kick the arms back. Okay. And not too fast. When you get to the back, you're going to contract over there. So you're going back and forward. That's it. And you're going to keep your elbows tucked in all the way back. Good job. Well done. Let's go for two more. 
And last one. Well done. And then Zoe, another one that also really works this. We're going to bend a little bit to the front. So don't go too far forward and don't be all the way up. We're going to be a little bit to the front. You're going to have your arms right on the side of you and arms straight. And you're just going to simply move your arms a little bit. One, two, three. That's it. So be careful to not come too far forward. So you're going to start from the hip and just all the way back. And you're going to keep those arm ni arms nice and straight. That's Oh, this is a burner. Nice and slow movement, keeping that tricep contracted. That's it. Well done. Let's go for three more. Two, one. And let's pulse it at the back. Let's <gasps> keep it there. Three, <laughs> two, one. One, good job. The trainers always say two left, and then when you get to two, they're like, give me another two. You make me not trust, like, not <laughs> <let's> trust you. <laughs> no, you got this, Zoe. <laughs> okay, so then let's do one little ab exercise. We're going to go down to the floor. You can just put your weights down. So we're going to be on the ground. Okay, so we're going to do a Russian twist. What we're going to do is you're going to lift your heels off the ground. Mila's joining our little workouts. <laughs> and then you're going to simply take your arms, and you're going to twist to the side all the way to the side. If you find this hard though, you can just drop your heels onto the ground and still continue the twist movements. And you're just gonna go all the way to the side. Good job. And if you want a little bit more of a burn, you can grab your water bottle or your weights and lift your heels and twist all the way to the side. And you just continue that. You really feel the burn. Important with this that you don't use your lower back. What you can also do is put a pillow behind your lower back just to keep that back up and rather contracting the abs. So let's go for five. Let's go for five. Five. Good. Four. Nice. Three. Two. One, good job. Well Amazing. done. Amazing. Well, Stephanie, I have to say thank you for welcoming me into your space. This has been a journey, and that is what fitness is all about. It's not a quick fix. It's something you can do, and you can achieve your results if you stay consistent. Now, I believe you have a beginner plan coming out for those who are maybe not ready to start off with anything that is too intense. When can we expect that? So, yes, I'm basically going to have a beginner postpartum some workout program. It's going to start really, really slow and it will build your strength up until the point where you can do more high intensity and strength wise exercises. And this program will be launching in the beginning of September. Okay, well that's around the corner to my Expresso family back in Cape Town. I'm going to be staying here. I think I need to do a proper workout with Stephanie. But if you want to get in touch with her, you can always just email her at info at trainwithstephanie.co.za or follow her on Instagram at stephanie underscore TWS. Back to you, team.